Hi and welcome to the second build episode on my first 3D printed plane, the Eclipsen Model A. Today I'm gonna show you all the details of building the wing. As you can see, I didn't build it as stock wing. The main changes I did is I didn't install the winglets. Instead of the winglets, I installed some carbon wing ends and just reduced the wingspan of the wing and I hope to reach higher speeds and just change the look of the plane. And the second big change is that I removed the V-shape of the wing. So the wing is just a straight line, just an experiment. I don't know if it affects the flight characteristics, but I don't like V-shaped wings, so I tried to remove it. So now let's jump into the steps and go through all the details. Before I was able to begin the build, I had to glue this line on the centerpiece of the wing. This was kind of broken, wasn't fixed well, so I glued it with Uhu Plus Special and after this I could start the work. The first step I did is the wooden rod you can see here in the wing. This is to reinforce the center connections of the wing because most Model A break on the center connections of the wing. First I had to check the length, what I can install. It's just all a straight line, so the wing has a bent shape inside uh, the structure. So it is 35 centimeters, what you can use for a straight rod, which fits inside the wing. Then I had to mark the center positions to really center it when I glue it into the center piece to not be more on one side than on the other. Then I had to cut down to the right length to this 35 centimeters, sanded it and glued it into the center piece of the wing. Next step was to remove the V-shape, which is stock shape of the wing. So I had to sand down the wing, eliminate the V-shape and also had to add some uh, connectors to reinforce the connection points of the wing just to make uh, sure that everything is lined up between the different parts of the wing. Then I glued it, these two first parts together with the centerpiece of the wing and the wood rod. The wood rod is glued with Uhu Pore and the PLA parts are glued together with Uhu Plus Special. Then it was time to add the outer sections of the wing. I had to add also some additional connectors just to reinforce the connection because there is no more wooden rod to reinforce the connection of these two wing parts and also to make sure everything is perfectly lined up. Then it was also time to glue these parts together. Again, only PLA, so I used Uhu Plus Special to do this connection. Before I glued the outer wing parts to the whole wing, I had to sand off all the connectors which were on the outside of the wing for mounting the wing tips. But because I don't use the wing tips, but uh, some carbon plates, I had to remove the connectors to make it possible to get a flat area to glue on the carbon. Then I glued the outer sections together with the whole wing, so I had the full size wing built together. Then it was time to begin the work on the ailerons. First of all, I had to sand down the connection areas of the separate elements of the ailerons because these were not perfectly flat. So to make a clean glue spot, I had to sand them down. Then I used also some carbon rods inside the ailerons to line up the different parts of the ailerons. But to be honest, for a second build I wouldn't do this anymore because you can perfectly line up the different parts of the ailerons also without installing any rods. Then I did my first mistake. I wanted to install some flexible hinges. The problem was that it was pretty difficult to glue these into the wing and into the ailerons. The result was that I wasn't absolutely happy with how the whole installation of the ailerons with using hinges went out. This all was too loose 
The final solution for connecting the ailerons to the wings was a super simple one. I just glued four spots with U-Pore. These are areas about uh, two centimeters long each where the hinges was. I cut it off all the hinges and removed the ailerons. And then I glued the ailerons onto the wing on these four spots. I was really surprised how well it works. The ailerons move really pretty smooth. There's not too much resistance for the servos, so the servos will handle the resistance of the glue pretty perfect. And you also have almost no gap between the wing and the ailerons, which look pretty nice. One mistake I did is that I put one of my ailerons too close to a room heater and this is the result. Uh, the PLA began to melt so I have a bad looking surface of one of my ailerons. For test flights I will keep this aileron but if I like the plane, if it flies like I expected, I'm gonna change the aileron to a new one. Then it was time to make the carbon end plates for the wing. To get the right shape of these, I took the winglets to mark the carbon plate in the right shape because the winglets fit perfectly on the ends of the wing. So I could take this shape, mark the carbon plate, took a Dremel tool to cut out the shape sanded it to the perfect shape and glued them onto the wing. I was pretty surprised how good the carbon glues also with using Uhu Plus Special. This is only for plastic but surprisingly it glued also pretty well the sanded carbon onto the wing and the result is pretty fantastic. This is all about the build episode on the wing. Thanks for watching, have a good time, happy flying, bye bye.